Emerging from the pandemic, more Americans say they're reading the Bible, but few consistently engage with God's Word on a regular basis. The latest study in September 2021 from the State of the Bible Report found that 181 million Americans opened the Bible in the past year, which is a 7.1% up from the previous year. This is very surprising, especially when we consider that in January 2020, less than half of Americans were considered Bible readers by the American Bible Society. That was the lowest percentage in the 10 years of the study. However, one year later, in January 2021, that number rebounded as 128 million people were considered Bible readers, which is the most percentage in four years and the most in raw number since 2014. All in all, the pandemic, with all of its undeniable negative consequences, is correlated with a higher rate of Bible reading. This is a good thing. In this video, I'm going to give you three reasons why you should be reading the Bible every single day. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you my own way of getting into reading the Bible daily. So be sure to watch until the end of the video if you'd like to get some tips on how to start reading the Bible today. Let's get to it. Reason number one you will get wiser. There are countless benefits to reading in general. In any book you read, you will learn something new. The Bible is unique in that in every sentence you read, you will certainly learn something new. Even if you don't believe in any of the transcendental claims of the Bible, this ancient thousands of years old book is at the very least the best work of fiction you'll ever read. It is a deep piece of writing that covers human psychology, the roots of human ethics, and the needs for it the starting of civilizations, war, sexuality, and so much more. When you start reading the Bible, you will get wiser in your own life, in finding meaning, purpose, what you should be doing in life. There are in the Psalms and Proverbs alone some extremely wise instructions for living. You will respond to things in your own life with a better understanding and a more mature attitude. Reason number two you will find peace. It is a much needed thing these days. Our world is full of events that are worrisome. Every day you wake up to the news, things to take care of. In summary, chaotic, disordered havoc awaits you every single day. Why must you do any of these things? Why be responsible? Sure, you say that it is useful for your life, you wouldn't want to be that guy who lays on the couch all day eating chips and playing video games. But why not be that guy? Why not be a burden to your family, friends, or your community if your heart so desires? Why should you be anything? These questions naturally arise for those who think a lot and are transparent with themselves. They must find solutions to these problems. The moment you ask these questions, the very asking of these questions is what the existentialists call the existential angst, commonly known today as the existential crisis. Indeed, there are two solutions to this problem. The first solution is that you become your own overman and invent yourself. You give your own answers to these problems, in which case you just ignore the why and live on. You ignore why things exist, why we ought to do things for the sake of sanity and functionality. But those questions will certainly come back from time to time. The second answer is that of God. God is the reason for being. He is being itself, and from Him you will find your peace. Indeed, as Jesus Himself said, in me you may have peace. The third reason for why you should be reading the Bible every single day is that if you don't, you have so much to lose. Let's do a little thought experiment. Suppose you're in your very last days on this earth. Throughout your life, you were not lacking much in terms of material. You have few regrets. And now, you're about to close your eyes. You start to wonder, what adventure awaits me? Certainly not this earthly pilgrimage. God either exists or not, there is no third option. If he doesn't, nothing awaits you. If he does, oh surely, you will want to make peace with him. 
Indeed, if he doesn't, then life is intrinsically meaningless, in which case you die and return to nothing. You will cease to be anything, and so regret is no longer possible. But if he does, your only regret will be that you did not make peace with him. In any case, you will either lose nothing or lose everything. So as a reasonable person watching this video, you would want to maximize the chance of your best outcome and mitigate the worst. How to do that? Again, I will take the Jordan Peterson stance and say, live as if God exists. If he does exist, he would want you to read the Bible. Because in reading the Bible, you're acting in accordance with reason, your own understanding of the world. As the French philosopher Albert Camus once said, I would rather live my life as if there is a God and die to find out there isn't, than live as if there isn't and to die to find out that there is. Alright, now I will show you how I personally read the Bible. So I read the Bible on BibleGateway.com. Just FYI, I am not in any way sponsored by or associated with Bible Gateway. It is just my personal recommendation because I think it is a great website. It gives you access to all the different versions and translations of the Bible. My go-to version is the NRSVCE, the New Revised Standard Version Catholic Edition. It is written in modern English, extremely easy to read, and has accurate translations. Finally, thank you for watching. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos, and until next time, God bless you.